Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am excited to not only paint for you one of these really cute tea light trucks that you can put tea lights in and they shine through, but also you can purchase them. So we only have, we sold out completely within a few days, but we got some more back in. So if you want to purchase a four pack, the four pack is going to be $65. You can click the link in the description and then I need some help. Okay. So I want to see who wants to, for me to paint a certain color. Okay. So as you come on, go ahead and let me know, say hi and tell me you're here. And then I was debating between red, turquoise, pink, I was going to go kind of crazy or some greens. Okay. I saw somebody that did some greens before. So as you come on, go ahead and let me know you're here. Say hi and let me know what color you want to see me paint this. Okay. So I'm looking for your comments. Let's see if we can see your comments. Okay. Hold on. I think I can see your comments from the wrong part. Hold on. There we go. Now I can see them. Okay. How about like a rustic, like Mater? Oh, that would be cute. And um, we hear fuchsia. Let's see, purple, fuchsia. Um, oh my gosh. I think we're going to go totally not Christmassy. And for those of y'all that are just joining, um, if you want to, to order four of these, they come in a four pack. And it's something really, really fun you could do with kids, grandkids. And then um, you can, you know, have them ship directly to you. And we're sending them within about one to two weeks now. So we're getting them there a lot faster. Um, ombre. Oh, I like that, Caitlin. Let's see. I did a yellow the other day on canvas. That's a great idea. Turquoise. Oh, my gosh. I think I'm going to go with the fuchsias. Oh, it's going to be totally not, not Christmassy, but... It could be a lot of fun. What about fuchsias and golds? We're just gonna we're just gonna have some fun. Are y'all okay with that? Just have some fun painting them, and then ooh maybe fuchsia and silver for sure. This glitter. I think we're just we're just gonna have some fun. What do y'all think? Hey there, Colleen from Michigan. Oh, I did a yellow the other day. Yellow. Blues, get an orange rusty. Oh, yeah, it could look kind of like a um uh kind of like a Harley Davidson color. That would be cool. Okay, so what I recommend when you purchase yours, again, you're gonna get four to pack for $65. So when you purchase them, they will be directly shipped to your home. If you're in Paint Party Headquarters, I just did a Facebook Live talking about these. So go back to PPHQ watch what I was saying. So those of y'all that are on here, hey, Debbie, hey, Karen. And um, if you want to purchase these so you can do them at home or whatever, um, you're going to get a four pack. So you're going to get four of these. So you can have friends over, family, whoever, right? Now, what I recommend is always doing a black coat first, okay? And then I usually get the black paint really good in the tires. And then I take, and what we're going to do is we're going to go with these pinks and fuchsias after seeing some voting here. <laughs> Hello from Kentucky. Hi, guys. Oh, Candy says, what is Paint Party Headquarters? Paint Party Headquarters is where I teach you how to make money teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. So if you want to learn more about that, um, you can go to my website, texasartandsoul.com. And then there is a link to Paint Party Headquarters and it'll tell you all about it. So you'll um, you'll love it. It's a really, really cool thing that where I basically teach you how to, to make money doing paint parties and stuff like that. So there's so many, so many opportunities. Okay, so this is electric pink. I'm going to try it. Guys, I've never done a pink truck before or a fuchsia truck before. So this will be a first. So I think I'm going to try it with these pinks. This is a fe royal fuchsia. And then I think I'm going to try it with lime greens as the tree. And then what do y'all think of the color palette so far? I could also do a silver as the tree. Maybe a silver. <laughs> what do y'all think? Okay, maybe, maybe the silver should be the tree, like an ombre silver. Let me know what y'all think, okay? All right, so while y'all are telling me what your thoughts are, I'm going to go ahead and start adding this 
this royal fuchsia to the truck, okay? And for those of you that have never painted ceramics before, I just want y'all to know, it is so fun. <laughs> Has anybody ever painted ceramics before? Um, it's almost like an addiction. <laughs> when you start painting ceramics, you will end up like realizing how fun it is and how it's almost like. Um, oh, Angela, you can get the link in the description at the top. Um, it's posted there. So if you want to go to the description, you'll see the link where you can post it. And like I said, we sold out of the last batch within just a few days. And so, um, so again, if you're wanting to get your kit of four, make sure, and it's going to be shipped directly to your house, make sure that you order it pretty quick because usually um, as soon as they sell out, I'll have to put another sold out. We weren't sure we were going to get any more in before um, the holidays this year. And so I just found out this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, okay, good. <laughs> we can offer them one more time before the, before the season kind of really, really starts. So I'm excited to offer them one more time for y'all. Um, so you can get them and then maybe have like a little event with your, with your, um, your family or your friends. Okay. So this Royal Fuchsia is a little, um, sometimes when paints have like a, um, sheen to them, they need a second coat, but that's okay because we're going to actually paint it and then we're going to put some, a little bit more on it and then we're going to put some detail in it too. Cindy says, I love painting ceramics. Maureen says, I love it. And Denise says, painted, chalked, and finger painted ceramics when I was younger. Awesome. And then Wendy says, I'm doing a paint party tonight with wooden gnomes holding a truck. Oh, that's going to be so fun, Wendy. Very, very cool. Yeah, I'm getting right now a bunch of kits ready for a country club. No, not a country club, a community center. And, um, and they're doing the ceramic trees. So I'm really excited about those. Okay, so I'm gonna just add in, and I'm not too worried y'all about accidentally hitting the windows and stuff like that, because I can always go back in and paint a little bit over it. So it's not that big of a deal. What paint do you use for ceramics? So this is the cool part about Bisque ceramics, they're already fired once. So basically that means they've been fired once. So you still want to be careful. Um, hey, Teresa, um, you still want to be careful, but what I'm using is acrylic paint. And here's what's been really cool is I don't have to worry about going to get this fired again, okay? So I do a lot of make and take parties, a lot of kits with these, because all you have to do is paint them with acrylic paint and the great news is is once you paint them with acrylic paint you can either seal it with a spray polyurethane or you can do mod podge so a lot of times if i'm doing an event in person i'll bring mod podge in person if i'm doing an event where like i said you know i'm sending kits for a community center then i'm going to send them with a little two ounce thing of mod podge and so when you do Mod Podge, you have to make sure they know that the paint's all the way dry. And they have to know that not only is the paint all, all the way dry, but they have to put it on fast. You can't just keep rubbing, 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 rubbing with your paintbrush or it's going to end up, um, it's going to end up, you know, basically re-wetting your paint. And then that's going to lead to it um, smearing. Okay. So I tell them just to get it on there as quickly as possible. And um, hey guys, thank y'all for saying hi to me. And um, who was um, all in on the, the snowman challenge recently? Wasn't that fun? We just finished the snowman challenge and I'm just adding some of that brighter color. And then I think I need y'all's help on the decision whether I'm going to go lime green on the tree, which I'm kind of, kind of excited about lime green on the tree, or should I go like a gold or probably either a gold, silver or lime green. If y'all will help me with that. Oh, good. She said I had, um, I had fun with the challenge. Awesome. Welcome. 
So, so cool. And then, um, yeah, if you're just tuning on and you want to order your own four pack of these, um, just go ahead and click the link in the description before they sell out. We sold out the other set that we had um, in about two days. <laughs> so if you want a four pack of these delivered so that you can do your own little paint party with your family, with your friends, go ahead and sign up now because you're going to want them ship to you. It'll give it, it'll take us about, um, I'm going to say two weeks just so that you're, you're, um, with Thanksgiving and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to say two weeks so that you're, you're not mad at me if they come early. <laughs> How about that? I'd rather you not be mad at me if they come early than, than say one week and they come later and then you're frustrated with me because I don't want people to be mad. You know, it's always better to under promise and over deliver. Have you ever heard that? Okay, so we have silver goes great. And um, lime green, Connie says, gold. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, Amanda, I painted it black first. And then I'm just adding this little, this little extra of the lighter pink on top. And then I'm gonna start putting some details. So remember, if you want to get yours ordered, the link is in the description. Okay, so I'm going to rinse that. We got another gold. Oh, good. Sherry ordered hers. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are all like voting all different. So it's really, really hard to see. Oh, thank you, Gwen. Let's see. Ballard says, I painted the first one in the challenge. My daughter and I are going to paint the second one tomorrow. I can't wait. It was so much fun. Oh, that's so great to hear. Okay, so lime green. I think I'm going to go crazy. I think I'm going to do some lime green. I may regret it. I may regret it. But I think I'm going to go lime green with some dark. We're going to see what happens. I mean, the worst case scenario is I don't like it. And I paint. I paint gold over it, which I might be doing. <laughs> and the other good thing about ceramics is that it dries super fast. So if you are painting it um, and you don't like a color, it's going to soak it up pretty quick. And then you can you can um, just go ahead and paint another color. Yeah, I'm not loving that. It sounded good in my head. Okay. It kind of looks cute, but I think I'm going to go with gold or silver. Y'all know my favorite is 24 karat gold. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, I'm going to try gold. So while that's drying for just a minute, I'm going to go ahead and just clean up my tires and add in some white. And um, Denise, the link is in the description. So if you want to order before they're sold out, um, Tracy, you too. Um, the link is in the description. Yeah, that's a little, I mean, it's kind of cute, right? Um, so I'm going to clean up some of these little details of where the white and the black go. So let me go ahead and show you. So this can start looking like a truck. Ooh. And then I'm going to show you just real quick some of the examples of people who have done blue trucks. They, and what I love is seeing like grandparents' names, like they'll put their names on the back. I think that is super cute. And then wreaths on the side. So, so many cute stuff. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let me see if it can go down any, hold on. I think I can make it go down a little bit. How's that? Is that better? Okay. Oh, see, so some of y'all like the green. Oh, y'all like the green. Ah, I'm not sure. I mean, it's kind of funky, huh? It's kind of got its own little funkiness to it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll just add some a little bit of dark green. Let me think about, let me think about it while I'm adding this white to the tires and then see if y'all can see this a little bit better. Okay. Cause I, yeah, it could be really cute if I added a little bit more darker green and then some lime is the, is the lime is the little highlight. Am I covering, 
Hold on, let me move it this way so y'all can see me. There we go. I like the line with pink, but maybe gold tips. Oh, that's a good idea. So the key to painting these is playing your favorite music. That's number one. Possibly having your favorite Hallmark movie in the background. That's number two. Grabbing your favorite kind of drink, whether that is coffee, wine, hot chocolate, <laughs> whatever kind of drink you like, and then making it into just a Christmas fun painting. That's really when you can have a lot of fun painting these up. And I told y'all this would be super cute if you used them as little um, Christmas table setups, you know, for the kitchen as decoration. You could put like a little charger with a little greenery and then have these sitting there. And then if you're, oh, thank you, Denise, for ordering them. Thank you, Maureen. And um, then, and we'll go ahead and get those sent out to you within the, the week or two. Um, but then what would be so cool is if every year, um, every year you got those out. So let's say you surprised your, um, your grandkids this year or your kids, and then um, they painted them. If you could do it where you could ask them if they, you know, you could keep them at the house. And then if you could keep them at the house, then what would be really cool is every year it would kind of almost be like their their place setting, right? It would almost be like their place setting. So I think that's like a really, really cute idea for, um, sorry, let me turn that this way so you can see it a little better. I think that's a really cute idea for like not only having something fun for them to do together, but also if you keep it there, you can have like this really cool kind of memory you know, of something fun that they made. And I don't know about you, but the stuff that Pixie makes like this, I cherish it. Yeah, Doreen, so it's 40, um, it's 65 for four. So it's $65 and you'll get four of the mini tracks. And then all you have to do is go to the dollar store and buy the tea lights. They're two for a dollar for 50 cents. And then they don't have lights that come with them, um, but you can order lights off of Amazon if you want them, but it actually looks super cute, just lit up because the tea light will actually shine through those little holes. So it's super, super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna add that. I'm just gonna add, I'll add a little bit of gray for that. And then when you're painting them, I usually put my fingers in the bottom and then I'm just really careful and mindful because again, it is ceramic. You don't want to drop it. <laughs> okay. It still is breakable. And um, Kim says, love hot chocolate. Oh my gosh. Um, and also could, you could put the gold on the van anyway. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to add some gold in here somewhere because y'all know I love my 24 karat gold paint so much that I think I'm running out. Um, and this is so therapeutic. I don't know about y'all, but when I'm just like filling in stuff and I don't really have to think too much, it just makes me happy. Just makes me happy, y'all. Just makes me happy. Okay, so go ahead and share with me while you're painting your track, which I know you are going to be painting one. What is your favorite, let me know your favorite Christmas movie that you would put on while you're painting this track. And then I'll tell you mine. I just watched two last week that I love. One that I hadn't seen in a while that I used to watch every single year. And then I wanna see if, if one of y'all have it just like mine. See if we have the same taste in Christmas movies. And then as you're painting this, if you're like, oh, I'm not really sure what to do, you can always come back to this Facebook Live and kind of watch it too. Oh my gosh, Ballard and Deborah at the same time, Christmas vacation. The Christmas shoes, I, I don't know, is that a Hallmark one? If it is, I've seen it. Um, I think, yes, with Candace, um, Candace Cameron, is that her name? Um, Hope, hey Hope. 
Yeah, Christmas vacation is one of my favorites for sure. Love some Christmas vacation. I have another one that I don't know if I've ever mentioned on here. That's one of my favorites. I'm going to see if anybody else has it. Oh, it's a wonderful life. Oh my gosh, I have such a good story about that. I'll have to tell y'all what happened. And um, National Lampoons. Yes, so funny. So funny. And um, I love Miracle on 34th Street. And that is one of my all time favorites. Not the not the older, older one, but the newer one. Um, but what happened years ago, um, Pixie was a baby and I'd heard and I know y'all don't get mad at me, but I was in my my um, 20s, late 20s. And I'd still never seen It's a Wonderful Life. And um, Bobby was like, what? You've never seen it? And I'm like, I don't know. I just never, you know, had seen it. And um, yes, Elf is so good. I can never get tired of Elf. Um, and so I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've just never seen it. And so anyway, I was like, you know, this year, this Christmas, I'm going to watch It's a Wonderful Life. And so um, what happened was it was about to come on and he's like, no, don't watch it yet. We'll watch it together when it gets closer to Christmas. So I didn't think anything of it. And then Bobby... He's like, I have a surprise for you. And I was like, okay. And he goes, you need to bring a sack of apples. And I was like, well, what am I going to do with apples? You know, like, that's weird. And I was trying to guess the surprise. I was like, well, maybe he's taking me horseback riding. Like, what is he going to do? And, um, and I was so confused. And he's like, well, just dress, you know, comfortable, but, you know, kind of nice. And then bring a sack of apples and, and I was like, this is so weird. But I was so excited because he had, you know, planned this surprise. And so um, so we show up, you know, we got Pixie. She's staying with her grandparents. And then we show up at, when I was living in Florida. They're downtown in Panama City. There was this old, um, really old theater. And so this theater was like historic. And it just, you know, had this really, really cool, like old feeling and um, they were playing It's a Wonderful Life in that theater. And so we show up and I see it on the marquee and I'm like, oh, my gosh, because it was just so romantic that he like knew I wanted to see it so bad. And then he saw that happening and then he found it. And the reason for the apples where we had to um, don't you had to donate fruit or something for like, um, I don't know if they were giving it to the elderly, like at nursing homes or what. But they said, make sure you bring like some kind of you know, basket of fruit or some fruit to go into baskets or something like that. And so anyway, when we got in there, there was a saxophonist that like literally sounded like Kenny G. And so here we are and it was raining. And so it was like storming outside. And we were in this, this um, old theater and there's this saxophonist playing and I'd never seen this movie before. And I was just tearing up. I was like, how sweet is this man that he could, you know, um, like do the surprise for me. I was just so blown away. I was so excited. And then I watched the movie and of course loved it and, you know, happily ever after, but it was just such a, that was one of those moments. Like we talked about for the snowman challenge that, um, for the snowman challenge that, you know, we talked about like you, um, you have to make magic moments happen during the season, right? Like they don't just, you know, all of a sudden happen. Somebody's Somebody's got to plan something. <laughs> so I just thought that was so, so sweet of him. Okay, so I'm going to um, actually go with the green just a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit darker since we were, I'm going to do actually the metallic festive and see what happens. I'm going to do a little bit in here and see if I start to like it with that metallic festive too. Okay, and just for y'all that are just showing up, just a quick reminder, you can order a four pack of these and they're going to come like this. And then you can order a four pack delivered to you. Um, but make sure you order them before they sell out. Okay, so we sold out of the last batch within just a couple of days. So if you are interested, I when you see this, if it's still if the link is still there, that means that you can still buy. If the link is not there, that means we have sold out. So if you're watching the replay, um, I apologize. But these things usually sell out pretty fast because they're really easy and fun to paint. And it can be something you can do over the holidays with your family and also something you can use as decoration for your, your kitchen table or whatever you want it to do. Um, and then maybe keep them out. Every, you know, every year you can bring them out. Okay, so this is the festive green. 
Yeah, I do too, Debbie. Um, Hope says, loving the variation of your greens. Shay says, that's a great story. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, it was a cool moment. I was like, oh, he loves me. <laughs> um, let's see. Deck the Halls is good too. Oh, Ballard, I haven't seen that. Is that an older movie or a new movie? Deck the Halls. And what is it a Hallmark movie or is it a regular? Because a lot of the Hallmark movies, I'll watch them, but I don't even know what the names are. Isn't that bad? Because I just like have it on play. <laughs> or I'll record a bunch of them and I just have them going in the background. Sorry that my face is like covered by the screen, but I just want y'all to see a little bit, a little bit closer. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to add just a little bit of silver. A little bit of silver to some of these areas while I got it out. Okay, so right here. You could put it around the windows, like the door frame. I really need a little bit smaller of a brush. Oh, there's my liner brush. Yay, this is better. I was like, that's a little too thick to be doing all that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this silver and add to here to the bumpers. See how it's starting to pop out? Oh, it has Danny DeVito in it. It's not real old, real funny, but not kid friendly. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Candy, for ordering. Yeah, those of y'all that are wanting a set, go ahead and get them ordered um, before we sell out. Because like I said, they, they, they sell out fast, these little suckers, because they're so darn cute. And it would make a really cute little gift, too. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit in here. And a little bit. And I'm just using a silver metallic. And you could do the bumpers chrome too. I mean, you could get as fancy as you want, y'all. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add the snow. Okay, so there's the bumpers. And the little lights. Oh, sorry. It's like my... Painting gymnastics, got to make sure it's here. <laughs> I like the way that chrome, that it looks like chrome, shows up a little bit more than the gray. When you put a metallic on it, it just really pops, doesn't it? Okay, and then you can do the same thing with the liner brush right here. Make sure you can see that. like that, and then right around here. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over. And then I'm gonna, hey. Oh, you look cute. You wanna show them your outfit? Yeah. Pixie dressed up so cute. She had midterms today. That's really cute, Pixie. I know, it's very trendy. I like it, it is trendy. Pixie is all into fashion and makeup and she keeps stealing all my makeup. I tried to go put my makeup on today. Pixie, I need my mascara and that base stuff back. She's ignoring me. I knew it. Every time I go to use my makeup to get ready for um, the day, I'm like, not again. <laughs> she grabbed it again. Oh, Lena, greetings from Italy. Awesome. Oh, good. Y'all like the silver. Okay. So I think, yeah, I think it's really, it really needed that festive, um, festive green. And then I'm just going to lightly tap some of this yellow green, okay? 
So it gives it a little bit of a pop. How's that? Okay, so now I'm gonna do just a, a hint of some um, golds in the track. And then what I'm gonna do is add some snow to it. So um, again, people have gone as creative as making this look like little windshield wipers. I mean, so many cute things. I'm actually gonna just do some gray, some, not gray, um, some, what you call it, metallic silver. And I'm just gonna kind of, add in a few little lines here. Just a few little lines of metallic silver. Okay, not much, just a, just a hint, nothing major. And then just a few little lines on the side. It'd be cute too. Oh yeah, this I can do gray, or I'm sorry, silver. Need to make sure I'm saying the right colors so if you're watching it back. Although I think when you get yours, you're just gonna go crazy. <laughs> you're just gonna go for it because it really is fun. You just, I mean, you'll see when you get them, you just wanna kinda paint your own style and go for it. I've painted a lot of these this season and I, I never get tired of it because it's so much fun making little different things. Oh, Debbie, I'll tell her you said hi. Yes, she came in, showed me your outfit and then ran back as fast as she could. And um, oh, thank you, Teresa. Yeah, I just saw it. Thank the thank the Lord. I saw it. I would have been like, oh, man, later. I'd have been upset about that. OK, so I'm going to add just a little bit more in here. It feels like it needs it. If that pink isn't covering all the way, you can always go back and just add. And then let's go ahead and make the bumper. Let's go ahead and make the bumper have that silver too, okay? So we'll have a little bit of silver here. And then I'm gonna show you with some gold how to just make it look a little bit rusty. Okay, a little silver there. Sorry about that. A little silver here, okay? We could even do a little bit there and there. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make a little bit, I do love that green now. It's definitely grown on me for sure. Love the green. Okay, so now we're gonna do just a little bit of um, antiquing. And I'm gonna try it with the gold and the pink. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a one inch brush and I'm just gonna dip a little bit in the gold and then wipe some of it off, okay? A little bit in the gold, wipe some of it off and then get a little bit with the pink too. And then what I'm gonna do is just start right here and then just kind of bring it down. Okay, see how that gold kind of comes through? See the gold? And I'm just gonna kind of antique it like that. So a little bit of gold, a little bit of pink, and then just kind of antique it a little bit with that gold. So it just has some look. And if you ever put too much, you can always take a paper towel and kind of wipe it down. But I'm actually loving this a lot. So I'm gonna turn it. It's almost like this really pretty shimmer over it. Gives it just a little bit more of a, a magical feel. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, Rose says, you know, I'm going to paint this morning and some afternoon and I will do tonight and be finished. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I like the blue truck too. The blue truck with the wreath. And then here it is in red. If you want to do a red version with green, the red, actually, I put gold on it as well. So I did some gold with some red. So this has gold and pink. And just kind of lightly brushing it. So a little bit of gold, wipe it off. A little bit of pink, wipe it off. And then you're just going to. 
lightly brush it. See how it kind of gives it that fun, fun little look. I got a little bit in my gray paint, but that's okay. I'm just gonna let it go with it. Maybe it has a little bit more antique there. <laughs> okay, all right, and then let me show you how to add some snow text to it. Again, if you're just showing up, I just wanna say thank you for being here. Um, my name is Heidi Easley, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties online, in person, and with art kits. Um, we've been selling a lot of art kits lately. And then you can also, if you want to just paint with me and you want to buy a four pack of these white trucks that you can paint yourself any color, and um, we are selling those today. So go ahead and click the link in the description to buy yours before they sell out. The last time we sold out in less than two days. So we're trying to um, give you all opportunities. So if you're watching the replay, and um, it already says sold out. Um, I apologize. I just want to say I'm sorry in advance, but it will. If the link's there, that means you're good to go and you're going to get them in um, less than two weeks. If the link is not there, then that means that um, we have been sold out. And I'll make sure to put it sold out. And yeah, that would be cool to do a John Deere truck too. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm glad I stayed with the greenish. Thank y'all for helping me decide. Okay, so snow text, I just like to use my finger and now I'm just going to take it and just right on the ends of the, the tree. Okay, so I just grab it for those of y'all that have never used snow text. It's really, really fun. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab it and then just put it on the edges. I just like to put a little bit on each edge. Let us go back in, get some more. This may be one of my favorites. I wish y'all could see it in person. It looks so, so cute in person. Sometimes the camera doesn't do it justice. Okay, so now we have snow on it and you can see right here how it looks. And so I could put a name on the door and um, I could put, you know, something, whatever I wanted on the sides of the door, or even the background or I'm sorry, the tailgate. So whichever way I wanted to do that. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Let me know in the comments. And um, no, Sandy, you do not have to fire them unless you have a kiln and you're using glaze. What we are using is we are, oh yes, I do need to add glitter, Denise, to the snow. Good point. And what we are doing is using acrylic paint and then snow text and then Mod Podge to go over it. Or if you have a spray polyurethane, you can literally just spray it all and then you're good to go. And um, so what I wanted to say is for those of you that want your own set of four, they will be shipped to you within a week to two weeks. Um, go ahead and click the link in the description. And then, yes, let me know if you like that pink and green. Like I said, I was unsure. I knew I wanted to do something different than just turquoise or red. But um, I think I'm in love. I think I'm in love. Okay, so if you want the link, go ahead and click the link in the description to buy. And if it says sold out again, we sold out in two days last time. So make sure you go ahead and order ASAP. And then um, if you're watching the replay and we're sold out, it'll tell you that we're sold out. So for those of you wanting to get them, there's a four pack. It's $65 and it'll be shipped within two weeks um, or you'll have it within two weeks. All right, guys, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.